start here. The Western New York families who lost loved ones in the 2009 crash of Flight 3407 in Clarence are preparing once again to fend off what they feel to be another effort to make an end run around experience requirements for airline pilots in flight safety regulations. Channel 2's Ron Plants has been looking into this story for us today and has some response now from a key family member. Good afternoon to you, Ron. Good afternoon, Kate. You know, the, the story of this successful battle by the families of Flight 3407 to bring about requirements for the hiring of pilots and other flight safety standards by airlines and regional carriers it is well known in this area and around the country. They are also known for not giving up or backing off in the halls of Congress or those conference rooms of the Federal Aviation Administration. So they expect to be back at it in Washington with their concern that Republic Airways, which is a regional carrier just like Colgan Air was, in 3407 connected with American Delta and United Airlines may be seeking what they call an exemption from federal officials to allow them to hire pilots and co-pilots who graduate from their Lyft Flight Training Academy with only 750 hours of experience in the cockpit. That's half of the 1500 hours of experience, which the FAA eventually codified for air transport certified pilots under the 2015 safety reforms package strongly pushed by the 3407 seven families. They intend to keep that 1500 hour minimum firmly in place with reminders of their safety record since then. 13 years since since the crash, there has been a single airline crash in the United States since then. In the decade prior, every 14 months or so, a, re a regional airline had an airplane crash in America. Hasn't been any. The safety rule has been perfect since it's enacted. To change it now is ludicrous. A Kalsner who lost his daughter in the Clarence crash says there's concern that perhaps other airlines, including major carriers, could eventually try also to weaken safety rules and pilot hiring and training requirements due to what airlines say is a shortage of pilots in the pipeline to make up for those who have retired under mandatory rules or left the industry. The airlines claiming this was in part a factor in the flight cancellation problems we saw earlier this year, especially with airports in Florida. A pilot shortage is actually disputed by the Airline Pilots Association. That's a union for the pilots, which contends that better pay and working conditions could bring more potential pilots into the mix. Local lawmakers, including Congressman Brian Higgins, are also in contact with the FAA, calling out administrators not to weaken the rules for pilot experience, other safety regulations. We have so far not heard back from Republic Airways, which is purportedly seeking this change for more pilot hiring for them. Here in the Information Center, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News. Kate? Ron, thank you.